background I thought I would just try sitting downstairs in my living room for once and just try filming here because for the last kind of like years worth of videos I've just been upstairs in my room so I'm gonna film down here today and basically I'm filming my May feelings favorites and fails where I basically talk about my feelings of the month in general a few favorite products which to be honest with you I don't have that many and some kind of fails if I've got any which again don't think I've got any oh no I do have one, um, I'll get that out of the freezer later, a little sneak peek. But I haven't been the most regular with posting recently. I have been very busy with my exams, which I'll talk about in a minute. But I've just been so busy that I have not had time to post anything, like film anything or anything. Actually, I have filmed a video and that's going to go up shortly. You'll see what that is very shortly. But yeah, I have filmed a video that I will be posting shortly. And I've edited it and everything, but I can't post it yet. So you'll see that soon but i thought i would just sit down and chat and chill this week i'm hoping to post a video today video wednesday and a video friday so if that doesn't happen it's because i'm busy <laughs> or lazy one of the two so first of all i'm going to talk about my feelings so first of all this month has been quite a busy month for me well i say this month oh my god am i doing oh no for a second i thought i was doing my april feelings favorites and fails and i was like i swear to god we're like nearly in june no this is may may has been very busy for me right now filming this video it's the 29th of may and i think when i post this it's going to be the first of june but i've been very busy revising this month i'm actually quite happy with myself with revision because I had it in my head that my exams were at the beginning of May, which meant that I planned all of my revision to coincide with, you know, the beginning of May. And you know when you're revising, you just kind of procrastinate a little bit and you don't 100% stick to the timetable? Well, that happened and that was okay because I planned for my exam to be at the beginning of May when actually they was at the end of May. So that helped me out a lot. So far I've had two exams. I've had my financial accounting exam, which went okay. I will let you know how I do in my exams when I get my results. And then my management accounting exam, which went a lot better. I actually think I did all right in that one. But again, who knows? I will let you know. Maybe I thought I knew what I was on about and I didn't. But there was a few kind of questions that I was like, I can't figure this out, which is normal. So yeah, and then I've just got one more exam left, which is financial management. And that's in like over a week's time. So I have plenty of time to revise for that one. But my exams, yeah, obviously I'm going to be spending a lot of time revising for them. So I have been very busy and it's been not stressful, but kind of because revision isn't exactly fun. Also in May, I handed in my dissertation. I think it was the beginning of May, um, I think. And yeah, got that handed in. If you know, I'm not sure how I did on that. I'm not going to lie to you because I'm not the best at just continuously writing for 10,000 words about a subject that, to be honest with you, like, can you really talk about something for 10,000 words? I don't know. But anyway, we'll see about that one as well. But I've been fairly happy this month that it's been pretty kind of chill, you know, just not really much to be honest happening been to you know a few pubs and stuff as they started to kind of open up and mainly just been sat outside it's the uni pubs i've been going to mainly but yeah i've enjoyed kind of like going out and having a few drinks here or there even though the other night i did this is technically a fail as well but i did go out and um i dropped my powder on the floor i don't know what happens like i didn't even think i was drunk which i probably wasn't really but anyway got my powder out my bag and it smashed on the floor thankfully it was only like a pound or something from shop miss a quickly immediately went onto amazon because i have amazon prime for free for like six months or something and i ordered just a one pound 99 powder from the collection free delivery came the next day and i accidentally so this is a sign that i might be a tiny bit drunk or i might have been was that I accidentally used my brother's card details, which was saved from a previous time. And I messaged him like, oh, Tommy, can I can I, I owe you this money? And he's like, oh, it's fine, just get me a milkshake. And so I was like, okay, I'll get you a milkshake. So yeah, this month overall has been pretty good. Now we're gonna move on to favorites. And I do have to say the majority of things in this video is basically food. In fact, nearly all of them. It's just a food-based favorites. I do have a favorite, which I can't show you yet because it's a new product that I'm bringing out soon. If you wanna hear about like, 
anything to do with my little skincare business fresh face then please check out the description box where my instagram is linked and also my facebook page for that kind of like whole skincare thing is and you will get kept up to date on like when new products are coming out and stuff like that so yeah go check that out but that has been a favorite but i won't tell you what that is in this video because i'm saving that for another video one favorite has been this so these are some sausage rolls now they're vegan vegan sausage rolls and the brand the brand is the mondo the mondo or something um but this is what they look like and it says that they're new and i found them in lidl so if you want to pick them up that's where you get them from and i picked these up you know thinking oh they're just going to taste like normal vegetarian meat because you know you can taste the difference between vegetarian meat and like actual meat of course you know it is different but with this i had one of these and when i tried it i had i literally questioned myself like is this me i had to go to my freezer take this out check it's not me and still to this day i'm worried that it is actually me well i'm not worried but i, I just i'm in disbelief because it tastes just literally it just tastes just like um me and i'm I just it just blows my mind um so yeah i would highly recommend these especially if you're vegetarian or vegan or if you just like to try vegetarian foods like i do because i'm not 100 percent vegetarian but i love vegetarian foods and i would like to in the future switch over to like a completely vegetarian lifestyle so i would highly recommend next up we have something extremely random you will be very confused um but this is not human food this is my hamsters food i wanted to include this in a favorites video because i genuinely love this now if you've got a hamster or like a rabbit or a guinea pig or anything like that then you know try this this is from pets at home and it's basically dried bits of fruit and in this bag there's literally like dried bits of banana there's bits of strawberry that's dried there's things i don't even know what they are that's dried and every day i give him like a little piece of one of these and it's like a nice little treat for him i'll just add it in with his other food or hide it somewhere in his cage every day i always hide a treat in a different place in stanley's cage so that um his cage is there by the way can you see it it's just down there my arm won't reach yeah i hide a treat in different places of his cage every day so that he has to like hunt for it and it's just fun for him and i always give him one of these little guys and i just would highly recommend them because it's like two pound fifty for the whole bag but it will last a very long time because i literally just put like one tiny little piece in his cage every day and he loves this stuff like he really does and i like to just look at it because there's so much in here like so many different things so i just really wanted to include this as a favorite because it truly is a favorite next up guys we have got something that you may or may not have heard about and you need to know about brownie m ms i saw these in the co-op and never seen them before even though it does say new and it said brownie m ms and i was like oh my god that sounds so good and you know when you see something that's new and you're just like hoping and praying that it is actually like as good as it sounds well i got this home i had one of them and i was like oh my god this tastes amazing it's literally like an m m with brownie in it which you probably guess that anyway but i love this and i also love the packaging like am i just being weird or something but i like the purpleness and the packaging design and it just makes me want to buy these again 70 something p these taste amazing and maybe i'll get some more today but yeah really love these like i literally could not rave about these enough i saved this packet for nearly over a week just so i can include it in this video i also saved another packet for this video these are not new they've been out for a very long time but these are extreme sour apple chews these are just some chewits and i bought these at the same time as i bought like the m m's and i just realized like how much i love these oh it says suitable for vegetarians that's good to know but yeah i just really love sour things like anything sour i love once i ate a lemon like i literally just peeled it like an orange and ate the segments i really love sour things and these sweets truly are sour like loads of sweets say that they're sour and they're not like tang fast sticks aren't really that sour and you know sour skittles they're okay but these i really like these and if you like sour things like me i would recommend so yeah they're not new or anything but i just wanted to keep the packet just to kind of show you then finally for food favorites i don't know why this month i have so much food but here we are every month is going to be so random these are these like caramel digestive biscuits i'm sorry that i can't show you like the full packet but they're like chocolate digesters but they've got caramel in the middle i've always loved these these are 
not just recently been a favorite they've always been a favorite since like they first came out i really like these much prefer them to a normal chocolate digestive but i do like a normal chocolate digestive anyway but yeah really like these i would recommend if you haven't tried them it's just a fancier little biscuit to have and that is everything for like tangible products now for youtube favorites we have Gemma louise Gemma louise is my current favorite youtuber she posts videos mainly vlogs about like her day and everything like that she just posts about things that she's cleaning things she's baking she just chats about things and i just enjoy watching her videos and it's just very kind of like cozy videos to watch i would recommend and yeah if you're not the kind of person that likes to watch like an hour long youtube video then you won't like her channel because she posts like literally like 50 minutes to an hour and a half sometimes videos and i really like that you know i just watch a bit throughout the day i don't need to watch it all in one go but i really love her channel and i would recommend i will link it in the description if you would like to go and check it out hopefully i'll link it in the description georgie if you're editing this remind yourself to link it uh, why am I saying if I'm editing this? If this video goes up, obviously I've edited it because no one's going to edit it for me unless Stanley wants to. Next up, we have Steph Toms recently got into her channel. Well, I've been subscribed for years, but recently like really enjoyed watching her videos a lot more. I think she just got more passion about it. She posts many makeup videos, reviews, hauls, that kind of thing, and like makeup tutorials and things. So go and check her out if you like that kind of thing. Again, I will link her in the description. And finally, Jamie Genevieve. I really love her videos because A, she posts a lot of makeup tutorials, which I like, but she also every single week posts a weekly vlog. And I really like watching weekly vlogs now i'm the kind of person that if someone's a weekly vlogger i will probably be watching their videos because i really enjoy them and yeah she posts that and she's just really entertaining to watch and i like it so yeah those three i will link them all in the description netflix favorites um i finished watching superstore on netflix which is sad i know there's actually some new episodes coming out like or are currently airing on tv but they're not on netflix at the minute so maybe i'll get them on catch up or something but yeah finished superstore on netflix finished watching big bang theory as well i went through all the episodes from the beginning all the way to the end over the past three months i'd watched like two three a day so basically you know was watching it solidly and now i literally am stuck like what the heck do i watch so if you've got any recommendations for new series please let me know but apart from that all i've been watching on netflix is shameless so yeah the uk version now i need to go and get my fails because i have one fail and it really is not good oh also a fail this is an actual fail right the other night i was asleep you know innocently minding my own business asleep next minute i heard a massive bang i thought okay well obviously it woke me up and then i thought okay and i thought stanley's water bottle might have fallen out of his cage no it hadn't i came downstairs and i had a mirror on here if you've seen my flat or anything like that you'll know i had a mirror on here and basically the entire mirror had fallen off the wall onto the sofa. I am so thankful that I had that sofa there because if the sofa wasn't there, it would have smashed to pieces. All the light bulbs that were on it, there's eight light bulbs on the mirror. There's the mirror itself. So yeah, it would have smashed to absolute pieces. But this sofa was here, so it just kind of flopped down. It still made a really loud noise, but nothing smashed, nothing broke. And currently my mirror is balanced over here. You can't see it, but yeah i took it down i haven't put it back up i just shoved these little guys up for now but yeah that is a fail but let me go and get my actual fail hello um fail got it out my freezer is this so this is from gelatelli or something i don't know the brand but i picked it up from lidl and this is what it looks like it's mint choc chip ice cream it's like low calorie and this is what it looks on the inside so i have had some of it and the whole point of these is and the other flavors in the range the caramel one the coffee one i like them the best one for me is the caramel one but the whole point of these basically is that they're 364 calories a tub so you just you know it's a low calorie option and the other ones are absolutely fine but this one i tried it before the mint chocolate chip one and did not like it it felt or oh, it tasted really powdery it didn't taste sweet or anything it just tasted like ass basically i went like maybe a year without having this and i thought the other week oh i'll just get this again give it a try 
why did I do that? Because I knew I was not going to like it anyway. So stupid me just decided to get this thinking I'd like it suddenly. But no, I still don't like it. I tried to eat as much as I could. Not in one go, but I mean, I just tried to have bits here or there. And I just don't like it. So what's the point in eating if I don't like it? So mum, if you're watching this, you can have this because um, I don't like it. So yeah, it is not good and I wouldn't recommend, but maybe it's just me. So um, that is the end of my May feelings, favourites and fails. I hope you enjoyed just seeing, you know, what happened in the month. And I will do and continue to do one of these every single month because I do really enjoy filming them. Next video is going to be on Wednesday. It's going to be me showing you my current products that I'm selling um, on my Etsy and eBay that I make and sell myself. So that's what's going to come on Wednesday at hopefully 9am, fingers crossed. And then Friday is going to be hopefully a little video um, that you will see on the day. So yeah, uh, see you then. Have a good day. Goodbye.